Hello, Archicad users. This is Eric Bobro in California with my special guest, Gary Laws, architectural designer in the UK. How are you doing, Gary? I'm very well, Eric. How, how are you? Good, good. So we're going to be talking about your upcoming training course in the Masters of Archicad series called Practical Parametric Object Making with GDL. That's a, a mouthful, but I know every word is carefully selected to uh, explain the benefits. You've been working with Archicad and with GDL for a while. Tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, I've been an architectural technologist or technician in the UK now for uh, for around 30 years. Um, I came across Archicad in the uh, around about 1990 and fell in love with it straight away. I've been using other CAD products up until then, and Archicad was a was like a breath of fresh air, as anyone any one of you users watching this will know. It's a great product, great productivity. Um, 10, 12 years ago, my wife and I decided to start a practice on our own, and we do now mainly residential work. And we decided at that point that Archicad was the uh, was the only product for us, to be honest. So you um, uh, started to learn GDL because you felt that the library components just weren't giving you all that you needed. Tell us, you know, how much of a difference learning these tools has made to you? Because I know that's what people's questions will be about is, why should I take the time to learn GDL when Archicad has a pretty good library already? Well, the big one, Eric, is, is always productivity. Um, if you're producing parametric objects that can take just a second or two to place that represent a significant part of a, of a building component that will be right in floor plans, in elevations, in sections, and deliver the right information in a schedule. That will save you enormous amounts of time. So that's the big one. You know, I wouldn't do it if it wasn't for the performance that comes out at the end. And I reckon the work I've done in GDL over the years is increased our productivity by at least 25 percent. You know, we're currently running at about 100 percent faster than we were 10 years ago as a practice. And I was a good Archicad user when I started. I knew the software inside out. So this is just from the tweaks we've made to the template, to the process, and primarily to GDL. So massive performance gains. But I think secondarily to that is, is, is the process of taking control. You know, once you understand GDL and once you're confident and competent with GDL, nothing scares you. You can you can look at a particular problem in Archicad and say, actually, I'll do that in GDL, and then I'll have a really smart, slick object to take me forwards. And I think that's that that's a fun element. That's something that really does change the way you work. Um, I would recommend it to anyone that uses Archicad, to be honest. Right. Now, you've um, uh, you've told me that you devote a small uh, percentage of time for each project to your object development, knowing that uh, over time you're building your library, your assets. Uh, tell me a couple of the uh, of your favorite parts that you use routinely and you're just so happy to use every time. I suppose the biggest one to me would, would probably be the structural elements. So um, elements such as floor timbers, roof timbers, um, and non-timbers, to be honest. We've got other structural elements as well. We've got concrete and steel. Um, and these elements have been designed to, to do loading calculations and span calculations, so that at the time you're placing them, bearing in mind with a parametric object, it's just a three-click process to place them. So only a couple of seconds. They will give you feedback straight away on whether or not they're appropriate for the situation you're using them. And of course, they then drive sections and other views and schedules quantities, all from one very straightforward object. Um, in addition to that, I suppose at the other end of the scale, I've got a slightly more glamorous object in my mind, which is the rainwater goods, where we place a gutter and a downpipe with just three clicks again, um, automatically handling offsets and all the rest of it, just to make the drawings look finished and look good. Um, it's amazing what a difference it makes to, uh, to have elements that look as they should look going into your model. And that's one of the big benefits of learning GDL is you take control of the appearance of your drawings. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, I know you've also shown me um, you know, some components that have sort of complex shapes that when you stretch them, uh, they don't <clears throat> deform. They either multiply or they, uh, you know, the ends stay constant and the middle part, uh, <clears throat> you know, stays uh, the way it should. 
uh, I think with a little bit of sophistication and certainly with the course that you're teaching, uh, users will be able to do them do this for themselves. Um, I have a background in GDL programming myself. Uh, I have a degree in computer science. Uh, so I've been doing a lot over the years. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how you teach people step by step the basics and get them up to probably a, a reasonable intermediate level of uh, proficiency within a very short time. I think it's going to be very exciting for us. Yes, I, I think the intention of this course is, is to is to deliver to uh, to the viewers um, a set of building blocks, so components that can be used for many many objects, which will give them the confidence to attack almost anything. Um, so by the time they finish the course, they will understand enough about the key elements of GDL to be able to say, actually, that's something I can now make, and and go away and have a go. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's going to be great. So uh, for more information about the course, the Practical Parametric Object Making with GDL, uh, please look on this page for uh, the link for sign up. We'll be actually running this course uh, very starting very soon, and then it'll all be recorded. So depending on when you view this video, uh, you'll be able to join us live or watch the recordings. So this has been Eric Bobro. I want to thank you for watching and thank you, Gary, for joining me today. Thank you, Eric. Looking forward to it. All right. Take care, everybody.